The National Assembly kicked off another extraordinary session on Monday with the rival parties saying they will put partisan politics aside and cooperate as best as they can to process a raft of bills aimed at improving the people's livelihoods. Our Kim hyun tells us, however, there's still some lingering points of contention between them. Lawmakers are determined to process some 80 bills in the April extraordinary session that went untouched in the February and March sessions because of partisan bickering over the president's plan to restructure the government. The bills on the table now are aimed at creating a more level playing field for small and medium sized firms and boosting the welfare system. The ruling and opposition parties agree on the general direction of the policies, so things are expected to proceed rather smoothly. But the parties differ quite a bit on a new tax break for home buyers. The ruling Senate Party supports a government plan to exempt home buyers from capital gains taxes for five years when they purchase a new housing unit worth 900 million won or less, which is roughly 800,000 U.S. dollars. As an alternative, people who buy an existing unit of 85 square meters or smaller that's worth the same dollar amount would also be eligible for a tax break. However, the main opposition Democratic United Party says the tax break should be for people purchasing homes worth 600 million won or less, which is roughly $528,000. The DUP says the government plan is unfairly weighted toward those purchasing homes in the affluent Gangnam area of Seoul, where there is a high concentration of housing that fits the criteria of 900 million won or less and 85 square meters or smaller. The ruling party argues that people in the middle class and upper class shouldn't be left out of the government's new welfare policies. Another bone of contention between the parties has to do with how to raise the needed funds for a 20 trillion won budget supplement. The Senate party is lobbying for a government bond issuance, while DUP says a tax hike should be considered first. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.